don't have time to chat. I'm really late. I promised Granny I'd help her plant beets in her garden bright and early, but my alarm clock didn't go off. Oopsie. Oh, Molly, wake up, sleepyhead. I need to get ready. I need to hurry. Oh, no, Mall. There's no time for donuts. Besides, that's not a healthy breakfast. Anyway, I have to head on over to Granny's right away. No time for delay. Now, what did Granny say I needed for planting beets? Um, oh, gloves, boots, my sun hat, and something for digging. <laughs> a rubber chicken? No. <laughs> Oven mitts? No. One boot? No, that won't help. My sun hat! And... A spoon? Oh, well, it'll have to do, eh, Maul? Well, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Clock rug? <gasps> oh, right! Thanks, Molly. Gosh, I almost forgot. I need to do my clock rug stretch. Well, it'll have to be super fast. Ready, set, stretch. <laughs> Did something. Oh well, no time. I'm sure it's fine. I know I did my clock rug stretch fast. That's the point, Molly. Now, where was I? Yikes! Oh, since I'm so late, I need to get to Granny super duper fast. But how? A telephone? Molly, I can't ride a telephone to Granny's. That would just slow me down. Oh, why don't I just call Granny? Well, Molly Dolly, then I'd have to find my phone in here. And there's simply no time. Now, I'm going to need something fast. Something with wheels. Oh, I'm too young to drive. <gasps> Giddy up to Granny's! Oh, no. Oh, a roller skate! Oh, yes! This would be perf if I had two. There must be something else in this couch with wheels. Oh! My skateboard! But I'd have to put my helmet on. Too late. I'll just carry my skateboard. Rubber boot. Well, one is better than none. <sighs> Mitts. Sun hat. Spoon and skateboard. Okay, I'm ready to go gardening. I've got it all. Time to fly. <laughs> wow, I'm fast. Well, I don't think I've forgotten anything. <laughs> oh, goody, Granny isn't outside. I can start digging and she'll think I was here on time. Wow! 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 What's all the... <gasps> Oi! What's this, Torty Fritz? Uh-oh. Snickle Fritz, have you been digging in my garden? What? I thought you were going to relax in the sun. 
I even brought you a nice drink. Hi, Granny. Hi, Snick. Oh, hello, Lunetka. I just found Snicklefritz all covered in <gasps> jumping cabbages. What happened to you? Oh, well, you see, Granny, I woke up late because my alarm clock didn't go off, and I needed to do my clockwork stretch, and I had to find all my stuff, and then I needed to get over here fast. Oi! Slow down, Lunetka. You're making me dizzy. Now, tell me, why did you have to get here fast? Because you told me to come over to help plant beets early. I did? Oh, yes, I did. Well, why didn't you phone me first on the telephone to tell me you were going to be late? I didn't think there was time. And I didn't remember where my phone was. So after my thingamajig, I found my skateboard and I rushed on over and started digging because I didn't want you to think I was late. I was the one who dug the hole, but you thought it was Snick. It was me. Sorry, Snick. Well. <laughs> Oh, Granny, I'm so sorry. Oh, my racing little reddish. It's okay sometimes to be late. And look at you, one boot, oven mitts. It's more important to be safe than on time. Law number 22. A clown never races before tying her shoelaces. Really? Really. Mwah. If you're off to the races, Without your shoelaces, next thing you know, your nose is in the dirt. Sure, dirt is one of the best planting places, but not so much for little clown faces. Good gracious, be careful, my dear. You need to slow down, clown. You're late, don't worry. Just slow down, clown. You can't rush a seed to grow, don't you know? A cabbage can be late, and that's just fine. Maybe it's too cold, too sunny, or rainy. Or maybe the moon is waxing or waning. Sometimes there's just no explaining. You're late? Don't worry, just slow down, clown. You're gonna land on your crown. Slow down, little clown. Oh, you're right, Granny. Ugh. I do need to slow down. Silly me. Package for Lunette the Clown. <laughs> Hi, Major Bedhead. Do you know you have a parachute on your back, Major Bedhead? Yeah, handy, eh? I have so many deliveries to make that I needed the chute to make sure I didn't go too fast. But now, my day's going a little slower. That's wonderful. Watch, package for Lunette the Clown. Ooh, it's a free sample. Oh. From the Slow Juggler's Circus Store. Lucky. I bet I know what it is. How about what? Yep, juggling scarves. I knew it. But I don't even know how to juggle. Well, Bedhead is one of the best slow jugglers around. Hey, Bedhead, why don't you teach Lunetka how to juggle those scarves? Yeah, sure I could. Since you're my last delivery, let's go to the Clown Chi Dojo and practice some slow juggling moves. In Clown Town? But what about planting the beets, Granny? Ah, they can wait until tomorrow. And Snake and I will clean up this mess. You will? Huh? And I'll head over to the dojo. I have to make preparations. Meet you there. Okay. Bye, Major Bedhead. Thanks for cleaning up my mess, Granny. And you too, Snick. Meow. It's 
a pleasure, my treasure. Now, off you go. Shoo, shoo. Clown town, clown town. We are going to clown town. Clown town, clown town. Here we come. The place that's full of friends. The place where silliness never ends. Clown town, clown town. Here we come. Clown town, clown town. Here we come. My noggin took a jogging. Oh, mine too. Oh, can we start juggling now? This is so exciting. I've always wanted to learn. I saw a clown juggle five bicycle horns once, and he squeezed them when he caught them. It was so funny. I want to do that. When can we do that? You throw them up in the air, one after the other, right? Patience, Grasshopper. No matter how long a log lies in the water, it does not become a crocodile. Huh? What does that mean? Well, I don't know. But before we begin to juggle, first we must learn how to stretch and breathe. Well, I already did a fast stretch on my clockwork this morning, and I'm pretty sure I know how to breathe. Whoa, 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 slow down, Lunette. A clumsy bird that flies first gets to the forest earlier. How about what? You must learn to breathe slowly, like this. <sighs> Ah, oh, very good, Lunette-san. Now, we juggle. Oh, oh, oh! First, we must learn to juggle with these. Like so. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now you try. Relax and remember to breathe. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Very good, Lunette-san. And now, we juggle with scarves. It could be so much fun to go slow. And I can't wait to show Molly how I can juggle! Molly, you have to see what... Molly? Molly! Oh, Molly! What were you doing hiding behind all this stuff? I want to show you something really neat. Want to see? No? Well, why not? It's so cool. But, Mall, we haven't played today or anything. I had to leave so fast, I... Oh, right. Oopsie. I left so fast this morning that I didn't pay any attention to Molly. Is that why you're mad at me? I'm sorry. You're my favorite doll in the whole wide world. It's just I was in such a hurry. In fact, I didn't make time to do a proper clock rug stretch, did I? Well then, will you excuse me while I do a proper stretch? Thank you very much, please. Some things should never be rushed. Thank you. 
feels much better. Molly, I promise that the next time I'm in a great big hurry, I'll slow down and listen. Sometimes I just get so carried away. Oh, story time, Molly? Goody. Now, where are my glasses? Here they are. And what else do we need when reading a story? My lamp, that's right, because it's important to have good light. Miss Molly, care to do the honors? Now let's see, what should we read today? Oh, maybe you can choose, want to? Oh, good choice. The story of Slomo the Clown. Once upon a time, it might have been a Monday in June, there was a clown named Slomo who walked to his own tune. Life in the big city was fast. All the other clowns liked to go, go, go. But Slomo liked to take things, well, rather slow. Every day he would stop to smell roses. And when other clowns saw him, they just turned up their noses. He'd stop to watch funny cloud shapes roll by in the sky. But as clowns brushed by him, they would sigh, sigh, sigh. As Slomo admired the giggle oils on the clock tower, curious clowns stopped amidst all the clown glowers. What are you looking at? Why do you stop? Haven't you noticed the time on the clock? Oh, I haven't, replied Slomo. No, no, no. I've been smelling roses, watching clouds and giggle oils too. You see, if you live your life by that watch on your wrist, you'll never realize the wondrous things you've missed. Soon other clowns learn to slow down once in a while and appreciate Slomo's world with smiles, smiles, smiles. The end. Did you like that story, Molly? Did you? Me too. It reminded me a little of a clown I know that needs to learn to slow down sometimes. <laughs> me. Hey, speaking of slow, want to see something Major Bedhead taught me? Ta-da! Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> hey! Who made this big mess? Me? Oh, you're right. I guess I did make this mess. Well then, that means I have to clean it up. It's only fair. So, get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! And now we're really going to slow things down and take a nap. I hope we see you again tomorrow. Toodles. Hey, Molly, want to play the dream game? Okay, what should we dream about? It starts with T? Uh, I give up. A turtle. A nice, slow...
clown jumped over the moon!